Hey guys, this is Vril, continuing our Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod playthrough as Young Griff. So in the last episode, we finally usurped the throne of the, the Iron Throne, and we are now King Aegon VI of the Iron Throne. So just turning off auto-stopping uh, auto plots, and I think... Unlike last episode, I'm going to start uh, fighting my independence wars here. So, uh, Lord Jonas failed to find a champion, now he must stand trial. Okay, so Lord Jonas of Southstone demanded a trial, and Master Orman shall oversee... oversee to ensure justice is served. He begins to present his defense, but the court did not seem impressed. He cut a very unconvincing and nervous figure. Master Ormond stuttered, stammered, and incoherently ra rambled in front of the accused. So he made a poor case, and Lord Jonas was found innocent. So I'll take that prestige hit. So anyway, we're going to, we'll continue to do these trials, but I'm going to move my army in here. So yeah, this uh, is going to interrogate Bor uh, Boros of the Kingsguard, and he was found guilty, so I think we'll just send him to the wall. And here was my crowning of the king. I'm now King Aegon the Sixth, and this was my ceremony, and I gained some of my lost prestige back. So we do have this 5k stack here. Uh, vacancy among the King's Guard. You know, Raleigh is already. already a King's Guard. Should find him. He's leading my army. My army here. So yeah, he's the Lord Commander of the King's Guard. So I'll just let them bring forward some soldiers. I think I'll let Sir Samuel Stone be part of the King's Guard here. He's got really high marshals, so that'd be a good thing. So yep, I'll let him be. Samuel gains 100 prestige. All right, so I'm going to try to take out this 5k stack. So my spy master is discovering some plots here and hopefully stopping them. So here, the guards drag Osman Kettleback from his cell and throw him at your feet. I've come for justice, he says. By right of birth, and blood I demand trial by combat Let's see here it's okay Marshall he's an incompetent commander he's trained fighter it's King's guard I am not going to handle this myself I just too much to lose I'll select someone so between choices I have here. They're all trained fighters, but they're marsh- I, I'm not sure if it's just the- maybe somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but if it's just the personal, the dual skill multiplier here, or is the marshal also calculated into that for, you know, the RNG on whether these are successful or not, so- just really, I just have to pick one, is what I'm going to do, and Sir Fankin Flowers is going to be my champion. Alright, so... I guess Osman Kettleback was killed. Same way Franklin. So that's good, I suppose. 
somebody joining my cause. It's another vacancy in the King's Guard. Looks like we have only got Sir Clarence here. He's a skilled fighter, so this guy is actually pretty good. Sure. So we take, uh, he'll gain 100 prestige there. So in these battles, Raleigh is here. Sometimes I was a bit worried that like when you have two gen two leaders that are in the same slot, that maybe one of them is going to disappear in the combat. We got a 6k stack of allies here. All right, so Sir Raymond of Blue Bur Burns Treason is one thing, but that Tyrell stands beside the Iron Throne. Tyrell, uh, carrying the very swords for him to defend your life. So... Slothful. So Prince Loras doesn't like if I do that, and I think they're talking about Loras, my... No, that's that's Loras, okay, not Lothos. Bit of rivals. Yeah, I think I'll just off with his head. I don't care if I have a rivalry with Prince Loras. Loris was killed. You look on as a traitor of the King's Guard is dragged up to your block and one swift stroke justice is done, so please stop and listen with with respect when I talk. I am authori authoritative. I suppose that's good, although big stack heading my way here. We're going to run away to our friends. Hopefully we can get away in time. Another vacancy in the King's Guard. This guy is not bad. And Sir John of the Iron Throne. Definitely not him. This guy's sand dornish, salt dornish. Uh, we'll take the guy who has better marshal here. All right. So there's another plot. Let's see if we can get away. No, we did not. Okay, I got another. Somebody else coming to help me. I wish my allies were heading in this direction. This is not good, although looks like the battle has turned. Okay, that uh, really came around for us. Let's see, we gained some good war score. We lost a lot of our guys, but yeah. That's uh, successful from what I thought it would be. We did lose a lot of our guys here, but hopefully we're going to walk around with uh, this stack that's joining us. So Tomlin has requested an audience with me. And he is, wants to pay his ransom. I suppose. Although he would have a claim, I believe. Yeah, he does have a strong claim. So, no, I'm, go I'm not going to let him. No, you shall stay in custody. Just what I need is for him to get out and try to reclaim the Iron Throne on me. So, somebody wants to be 
no incumbent separate from the crown made overlord of the region I don't even like this guy he wants the stormlands let me think <laughs> let me think denied Somebody else coming to join me. So Lord Renfred of Duskendale has some given me bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning Lord Gunster of Rosby's sexual preference. How should I use this juicy information? Expose and denounce him? Yeah, he doesn't really like me anyway, so I will expose him. So while we can, I'm just going to siege this, uh, where were we at? Hammer Hall. Charity work in King's Landing. Somebody else joining me. So Lord Goodwin of Gal Galo's Greys. Treason is one thing. So how is this guy? I think we will off with his head. When your loyal Kingsguard arrived to arrest Sir Marin of King's Land or of the Kingsguard, they found him up that he already fled King's Landing, so he's escaped. Another vacancy in the Kingsguard. As I just killed off one of them. I think I'm going to take this guy who has pretty good state intrigue. I haven't taken anybody with intrigue yet, so place and hook, step forward. So there's Sarah is inquisitive and asks so many questions that it is hard to answer them all. Try my best for every answer I give. Lucera seems to be like me even more, so we're becoming close friends with Lucera. Maybe she'll. Uh... Okay, so this uh, stack was heading towards me because my allied stack was going away, and then I moved away with the stack and. <laughs> Then they um, stop following me too. So vacancy in the King's Guard again. We'll take this guy who had the highest marshal, and now we'll pursue this stack. I mean, they're making me break off of my siege, so yeah, we might as well pursue them. So it's turning colder, the people of Rainhouse can no longer work the fields. Got a mild winter. Alright, so. Battle of Carpenter Town. I guess we're using their. that larger stacks leader, so they're not quite as good. Trying to check if I have any other allies, and it looks like, again, these leaders were not very good, so they're causing us to lose this battle. Oh, wait. I completely missed that. We won that battle. So, Lady Shireen is joining me. That's good. Who did she just marry there? I think I saw this before. Okay. Lord Narbert. So, House Targaryen has ruled Westeros since Aegon's conquest. We united the Seven Kingdoms into one, we built King's Landing, we forged the Iron Throne, and we will not let our birthright slip, birthright slip away. Again, a high, uh, strong claim on Dragonstone, which is fine. I mean, we're... We're already, you know, we 
have the title of the Stormlands, so... Shireen... I'm not... I don't think I'm gonna press Shireen for that right now, anyway. Not with all the battles I already have going on. So, let's see if there are... If I can invite anybody. First I'll check. I think she's already in this war. And... Sure, we're okay friends with Prince Doran. Yeah, I'm not really seeing a large stack around we need to worry about. There's one there. And let me turn the... So we're mostly we're facing the Reach, some random lords, and the north. Let's uh, head towards High Garden. Highest war score with the against the Reach right now. I mean, I suppose it isn't the complete end of the world if we were to lose some of these wars. None of them are coming at me for the Iron Throne. They're just trying to gain independence. But even so, we don't want them to have independence. So Lothos and I become close friends, which I believe. He's my squire, isn't he? Yeah. Sir Marin of the King's Guard is my rival. All right, so we're sieging High Garden. It looks like we're now lost a siege up here. Apparently there's not very many defenders up there. But let's continue sieging. So Tommen's back. My prisoner, Lord Tommen's spouse, Mar <laughs> Prince Marjorie, sent me a letter insisting I would meet her in the keep. She asked me to show mercy and release her spouse for a hefty sum. I mean, Prince Marjorie is an intricate web weaver, so I'm not sure it'd be the greatest idea to go uh, meet up with her. So I could have Prince Marjorie is executed and Prince Lord Tommen of the Westerland dies. It's not negotiable. It is okay money, but I'm not going I'm not going to do let him out. Um, I'm just gonna kill them both off. I mean they're my main rivals at this point for the throne. He's got a strong claim, no kids, so cut him off when we can, right? I mean we do have marriage ties with him, so that's a little slightly amusing. So he's executed. Marjorie is not executed as far as I know yet. She will not be happy about that. Let me check. So... Yeah, she's not too big of a fan of it, me anyway, so she demands vengeance. I'll be watching her. So you and your friend Lotho in the practice are in the practice yard one morning training with a wooden sword. He says that he has been watching the Bravos and wants to join them. So I think that'd be good because he is my friend and I might need him at some point. And Lucere wants the same thing, so I suppose. Didn't realize she married somebody. Lord Roro of Sunrise Road. 
All right. She might become a uh, knight one day. So I do think we're going to continue sieging this, um, just inherited a title. So I think we're about out of time. So I think we'll continue our independence wars in the next episode. Thank you for watching.